Good day, folks. Beautiful day in downtown Foxtrap today. It's an update on the recumbent project and how it's going. Pretty good so far. A lot of work to get to this point, but uh, we're nearing the end of uh, the little project. It's soon be ready to take it for a ride. This video is about the chains and how I hook up three chains on the bicycle. The middle chain is where I'll start. This is just a transfer. It transfers from the front chain right to the back chain. And I have a little uh, tensioner here made from an old derailleur. As the distance between this bracket and this bracket changes with the action of the shock. So I had to put in the chain a little bit longer and put in a tensioner there to allow for that. On the other side, the rear chain, of course, is just like a regular chain. We got three on the sprocket here, we got seven here, it gives us a total of 21 speeds. That's from the original bike. But now, since I'm driving that with a front chain, I have three here on the crank sprocket, and I have two right here on this sprocket. And this old derailleur is doing a double duty as a chain tensioner, plus you can shift between the two sprockets here. So with this one, with uh, three sprockets driving 21, that gives me 63 speeds. But if I go to the higher range here, it gives me an extra 63 speed. So it's a total of 126 different speeds. You can gear it down really low, or you can gear it up high. The highest one on this one here is 48. The lowest one here is 24. That's two to one. That's a great mechanical advantage, two to one, or above and beyond what you're getting there back here, which is a little better than three to one. So this is how I do the three chains. It uh, avoids the ch long chain droop that you get with uh, long wheelbase recumbents with one chain, and I've built a couple like that so far. But uh, the chain droop, um, not that it's mm, anything wrong with it, I guess, but it seems to be much neater to do it with three chains like this. So as you turn this chain, it turns the middle chain, which turns the rear chain. So it's all about mechanical advantage. You can gear it down extra low, lower than uh, the original uh, configuration, or you can gear it much higher than the original configuration. So it gives you much more choices, many more choices to be able to either gear up or gear down. And uh, the original one on the lowest speed was only one to one, 28 driving to 28. So that's the lowest speed of all. So with here, with the lowest one driving to 28, driving to 34, it really brings your ratio down. So the extreme granny gear. And once again, with the 48 here, driving a 24 here, that's two to one advantage above and beyond whatever here. So you got your high speed, got your low speed, everything is all self-contained. Uh, of course, uh, having four derailers calls for four shifters. <laughs> and uh, these have been salvaged from old 10 speeds. One here, here, and two right here. Coming along pretty good. I'll soon uh, be ready to get the seat and the backrest done and uh, take it for a ride. A lot of work, a lot of hacks on, cut up the old frames, and a lot of the old parts too were uh, full of rust. So they had to be all cleaned up with the wire wheel in the drill and trying to get it apart and so on and so forth. So there's more time spent restoring the parts, I guess, reclaimed, uh, recycled parts than it was actually building the bike, so. Anyway, next uh, little video I'll do is uh, on how the uh, seat and the backrest I put on. So, uh, here it is so far, guys. Let's give you a little look and uh, see what it looks like so far. Seat and the backrest now and be ready to take it for a ride. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.